Hey friend, John McLennan here, and in this video you're going to learn how to play the guitar solo to Wichita Lineman as recorded by Glenn Campbell. Now this is an amazing song and I already posted a lesson on how to play the chords, so I'll link that up down below so you can learn the chord progression to the entire tune. Now in this video we're going to learn the solo that's actually over just the first part of this progression. Now the guitar solo for this song is played on a baritone guitar and so that's what I have here. It's a longer scale guitar that you can tune down. So this is tuned all the way down to a B, low B, so it gets a really deep sound. It's like basically between a guitar and a bass guitar. It's like here's a guitar, here's a bass guitar, right in the middle is a baritone. So I'll be using my Jerry Jones baritone for this lesson as we break down the solo. Now before we dive in I want to hook you up with a gift right away if you're new and haven't downloaded my fretboard guide yet, you've got to do it. It's going to show you the five must-know chords and scales to play in any style anywhere on the neck. And it's going to help you when you're playing guitar solos or you're playing rhythm parts. It's basically the system that I use for mapping out the whole neck. And I want to give it to you completely for free. Just go to johnmcclennan.com slash fretboard guide or use the first link down below. All right, well with that said, let's break down the solo. Let's break down how to play the guitar solo to Wichita Lineman as recorded by Glenn Campbell on guitar. Now I'm going to break this down into what is essentially like four little phrases that you can string together that are all based around the melody of the song which is what Glenn is singing. So I'll play it one time for you first and then we'll break it down. Here's what it sounds like. We're going to start off with this pickup that begins on the first fret of that low six string. Then we're going to roll our finger over and play the first fret on the fifth string. Then up to three. Then we'll go to the fourth string and go. That's one, one, zero, zero, then three on the fifth string then zero, three on the fourth string. So. That's the first phrase, and that goes with the words, I am a lineman for the county. I am a lineman for the county. It starts on the and of one. You can count one and two and three and a four e and a one and two and three, four, and. Then we let that ring out. Two, three, and four, and. Then the second phrase goes. We're gonna start on the first fret of the fifth string, play one, three, then go to the first fret of the fourth string, one, zero, then we'll go and do like the reverse of what we started with. We started with, right? Now we're gonna go play the first fret on the fifth string, then the first fret on the sixth string. That's starting on beat two. One, and two, and three, and a four, and one. So if I put that together with the first lick, it's going to go three, four, and one. Two, three, four, and one, and. All right. Then we've got these last two phrases we're going to play. Now a lot of this is based around just these two notes here. We're going to start with a pickup, we're going to play that low first fret on the sixth string, then we'll roll that finger over and play the first fret of the fifth string, then we're going to be going back and forth between the first fret and then the third fret on the fourth string. Okay, 
if I say these frets, it's one, three, three, one, three, 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 three. It's a little syncopation there. One and two E and a three E and a four and. Then we go. Love that part. So we're on that third fret and we're gonna move up three, five now. So we'll go up two frets. Then we'll come back down to the second fret and then finish on the fifth fret or on the fifth string rather with five, three, five. So it's If I back that up with the previous riff, one and two and three and four and. Now I am using all down picks here, except for when I play the faster parts. There I'll use alternate picking. So it's like, like they're down, down, up, up, down, down, down. really just when I use 16th notes that I use the alternate picking. But you could play them all on downs if that's easier. I just like using the alternate picking for this. So all together from the top, it's gonna sound like this. Three, four, and one. Three, four, and one, and. Then you let that ring for two bars there. So let's bring in the chords and we'll put it all together. Get set on that first fret, I'll count you in. One, two, and three, and four, and one. Congrats on making it through this classic guitar solo. And I wanna again just emphasize that this solo is really based off the vocal melody. So it's a great sort of foolproof way to come up with a solo is just restate the melody to the song and then add a little rhythmic variation or just a little change to it. Sometimes you don't even have to do that. You could just play the melody again. But that's a great way that I approach soloing and how you can just get into it and play something that starts sounding good right away. And to help you even more with this, be sure to download my ultimate fretboard guide at the first link down below. And this is going to show you the five must know chords and scales to play in any style, anywhere on the neck. I want to give it to you completely for free. Just go to johnmcclennan.com slash fretboard guide or use the first link down below. Now leave a comment if you would like me to do a, another lesson on this song, doing it just on a standard tuned guitar. Now we can't quite get the notes all the way down there. It won't be as low, but I could put it, you know, in a different register, maybe an octave up and that would work just on a normal guitar as well. So let me know if you would like to see that in a comment down below. Thanks for your support with the videos and we'll see you in another one real soon.